Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the video. So the purpose of this video is to uh, understand and see how we can uh, start creating uh, or rather start developing SAP UI5 Fiori applications using uh, Visual Studio Code in your local machine. So uh, let's get started. Uh, the prerequisites which you need to get started is, uh, first of all, you need to have Node.js in your system. So you have to install Node in your local machine. Um, if you want, if you don't have it already, then you can install it from this particular link, nodejs.org, and uh, you can take the uh, latest uh, version, whichever is available, and you can install it in your system. So once you have Node.js available in your uh, system, then you definitely you need to install Visual Studio Code. Uh, so this tool is needed because this is the IDE which we'll be using for uh, development of our uh, Fury applications. So these are the two prerequisites. Number one, you need to have Node.js installed in your uh, system. And number two is you need to have Visual Studio Code installed in your system. So once you have these two prerequisites in place, um, then what you have to do is uh, open Visual Studio Code. You can just in your search bar type Visual Studio Code and open it up. And uh, once you have uh, Visual Studio Code open, code, what you have to do is you have to install the extensions for Fiori development. So you go to the extensions tab uh, in your Visual Studio Code here and uh, you search for Fiori. And when you search for Fiori, you will find this SAP Fiori Tools extension pack. So once you click on it, uh, this basically this is an extension pack which has seven extensions uh, which help in SAP UI5 in Fiori uh, development. So you install it, you click on install and uh, what it will do, this extension pack will install all these extensions in your Visual Studio code. So once this pack is installed, uh, that's the first step. It's a good start. And then we need to press Control Shift P, which is show all commands. And uh, now we need to type here Fiori and uh, we need to click on Fiori Open Application Generator. So once we click on it, it will open the template wizard for developing Fiori applications. If you don't see this uh, upon clicking open application generator wizard, uh, you can click on this button, explore and install generators. Okay, so basically this template which we are seeing here, uh, it is available here because the generator for SAP application has already been installed um, in Visual Studio Code. So SAP Generator Fiori, this is the generator for creating SAP UI5 applications. So because this generator is installed, that is why we are able to see this template wizard here. And how are we getting this template wizard here? And uh, how are we getting this uh, SAP generator already installed in the Visual Studio Code? Uh, that has all happened because uh, we installed this uh, SAP Fiori Tools uh, extension pack. So uh, this is a mandatory prerequisite which you need to have uh, installed in your VS Code. And post that, uh, you can arrive and you can open this template wizard. And uh, this basically provides uh, a template for us to start uh, creating our uh, SAP UI5 Fiori applications. So uh, we can just uh, create a freestyle SAP UI5 uh, application. So we click on SAP Fiori list detail application and uh, we click on next. Data source, uh, we can connect to an OData service. So we take the URL of the Northwind OData service and uh, we give that here. So once it has verified that the URL is correct, we click on next. Uh, now we can do an entity selection here. So all this is uh, just needed as per the requirement of the template, which we have uh, selected. You can select any of the entities 
here like categories or customers or customer demographics or order invoices anything i'm just selecting uh, any of them so that once we launch the application we can see uh, the, the data coming from the odata service and we can see it in our uh, view so we just select uh, any of these entities and their properties here that should be fine um unit of measure something else so this is just for the demo purpose is what we are selecting uh, when you are creating uh, an application for a real world use case you will be selecting your entities as per your requirement so now uh, we have set whatever attributes were required uh, for the template now we will just give uh, the project attribute details so module name application uh, title demo visual studio code project application namespace we'll give some namespace here and uh, we can give the same description as the title and uh, this is the project folder path uh, basically this is where your project files will be saved uh, locally in your system uh, this is the minimum sap ui5 version it has uh, selected by default so we'll just click on finish uh, we don't want to do like too much of uh, tinkering with the, the default values and uh, once you have clicked on finish uh, you will see that uh, you will get a message here installing dependencies so once this part is done uh, then you will be able to see your application in the explorer uh, in the visual studio code okay so it is completed now this installing dependencies could take some time so maybe a minute or two so once it is done then you will be able to see your project here demo project and these are all the files so you can see in the web app it has created the uh, controller files and the view files are there. So your uh, SAP UI5 application project is created. Now what uh, next you need to do, uh, like you will have to uh, run the application to see some data coming from the Odata service. So we'll open uh, the um, command prompt inside uh, Visual Studio Code. So the shortcut for that in Windows is uh, control plus tilde. Tilda is the button just below the escape button. Uh, okay. So now if we have to run the application, what we can do is, so uh, we can go to the package.json file, which basically has uh, all the dependencies mentioned for this particular project. And it also has, uh, you know, these scripts which we can use and run to run our uh, SAP UI5 application. So we'll just hover over uh, start and we just click on run script. And uh, we'll see that uh, this particular script will run uh, in the command prompt in the terminal and uh, our application will be launched in the local host. Yeah. So the application is launched. We see that uh, the title of the application is what we have given and uh, this is the data which is coming from the Northwind Odata service. So the application is pretty much, uh, we can say default as per the template we have selected. Um, yeah, this is the beauty of, uh, you know, using these templates to uh, create uh, SAP UI5 application because uh, it makes it easier uh, to start the development work uh, because there is a template already provided and you can just select the entities which you need to display and uh, yeah then you can see the application running so this is what i wanted to cover in this uh, video session um, you know just basic steps uh, how to set up your visual studio code for uh, sap ui5 slash fury application development if you have any questions, please post in the comment section. I will try and answer those uh, definitely. So thank you for uh, listening to the video and uh, have a nice day.